to continue on our path to a new primer, looking now at creating a lesson. This is the first section of this. We're looking at Chapter 7 of the Primer Guide. First, let's remind ourselves of the major sections of the LEI Primer. We have the Teaching Guide which helps the, the teacher know how to teach the lessons. We have the lessons 1 through 32, which are the lessons that are, are created lessons, uh, the story's uh, new material for that culture and that people group language. We have our special lessons. The capital letter lesson is number 26 in most lessons. The arithmetic lesson and the letter writing lesson. We also have health and farming stories. And then, of course, we have our 36 easy to read Bible stories. So we're looking now at creating a lesson for lessons 1 to 32. And this is where your language speakers are particularly important, as because they will be the the ones who are coming up with the picture words and the other new words and the stories for each lesson. So there are six steps to creating a lesson. The first step is select the new letters to be introduced. And these are important because this will help determine what your two picture words will be. So then the second step is to find the two picture words for the lesson using the new letters plus any old letters that you have from previous lessons. The third step then is to take these two picture words that have been developed to write the story. Then, once the story is written, one of the things we want to use to keep it simple for the new reader is to check the number of new words. Then once the, everything's uh, correct with the story, then we're going to fill in the primer manuscript, filling the formatting for the lesson. And then the sixth step is to make the drawings of the two picture word illustrations for the lesson. And right now we're going to look at step one, select the new letters. And the person responsible for doing the selection of letters is the facilitator or the LEI consultant of the, the workshop. And this is the person who has the letter frequency count, which will be used to help in this selection. You can find information about this on pages 43 to 45 in your primer manual. So we're going to select the new letter or letters to be introduced. And it's very important that we select well, because this is the foundation on which the entire primer will be built. So if you start off with a, a rocky foundation or one that's not good, then the rest of the primer will not be good. So we want to lay that good foundation. And this may take a while to get the first lesson created, but it's, it's worth taking the time because then that will provide a solid foundation for building the rest of the primer. So for lesson one, because we have no information at this point, we're going to take from our letter frequency count the top four or five, we want to take a total of four or five letters in the first lesson. And out of these four or five letters that we have, we will use them to make the two picture words 
plus one or two other words that can be used to write two or three short sentences for lesson one. No other letters may be used in the words, only the letters that are being introduced in that lesson for lesson one. And we'll talk more about this later, but the picture words must be easily pictured, common nouns in the language, such as chicken, dog, pineapple, goat, fish, things like that. So once you found the two picture words, the team is going to write short sentences using the picture words and the other two or three words that you found. All the words used in the sentences must only use the letters introduced in the lesson, a combination of the four or five letters that have been chosen for the lesson. Now you think about to choose the letters for lesson one, you choose them from the letter frequency count that remember you did in the first module. They would take the top five letters, A, E, B, D, I, in this case, from this particular language, and you would work with those to try and find two picture words and one or two other words that could be used in sentences. Now this can take a while for them to, for the, um, the language speakers are the ones who are trying to find these words. And we'll talk more about that in the next section. So you try that, and if they can't come up with two picture words and one or two other words using that combination of top five letters, then you can always add in the next two letters, up to seven letters, and then from that seven, you try and find four or five letters combinations that will allow you to find two picture words and one or two other words. So for instance, from a, E, B, D, I, K, M. You could take the five letters A, E, B, D, K or A, A all those letters. So here's some samples of lesson ones in uh, Lingala from Kikongo. We have the letters B, from Republic Democratic of Congo, the C, we have lesson one, the B, the W, the A, the L, and the N. So there's five letters here. From those five letters, we found future words in children, and Baba, which means road. Then they also found other word, Awa. Means, I think it is something like that. So, so there is a road, there is children. And some of those five letters are able to make three words. Another example is Ewe Lesson 1 from Ghana. And in this case, they were able to make a lesson one with only three letters. So they have Tati, which is the pestle from the mortar and pestle that they used to pound their yam. Ati, which is a tree. And then the two other words, ta and ata. Ata means to draw. So draw the tree, draw the pestle. And so pull in one, one that seems to do a rear end. So once you have lesson one completed and it's uh, ready to go, then for lessons two to 32, for each lesson, you're going to choose letters according to the next letters in the letter frequency. But these may change around a little bit based on what picture words you're able to find. So, for example, in lesson two, 
we're going to introduce one or two new letters depending on whether you use four or five in lesson one. You want to try and keep the first two lessons introducing no more than six new letters. The number of new letters introduced in lesson one and two should not exceed six. And as you do this, you want to keep a visible list of letters and words for your writers so they can see what letters they have to work with when they're making new words and also what words they've already used. We'll talk more about that in another section. So once you have the first couple of lessons done and you've got your, your letters settled for example lessons one and two, then as the facilitator you can go back to your letter frequency count and you can fill in for the lessons that will be coming up kind of a plan for which letters will be introduced in which lessons. Keeping in mind that up through lesson 12, we only want to introduce 12 new letters. But since we've introduced four or five in the first lesson, that means there'll be some lessons where we won't introduce new letters. We will introduce new content, uh, new picture words, new story material, but no new letters. And where exactly this happens will kind of depend on how easily you are able to find picture words for those lessons. So always because you and but you can get a general plan around depending on what words the last speaker are able to find that contain those new letters in those lessons. 